Hello, today I'm going to chat about Gibraltar. I walked alone and across all the area and took part in Gibraltar Body Painting Festival. And today I'm going to share all of this information with you. And I hope that you will feel inspired to visit this amazing place at some point. Before we start, please like, subscribe and click the bell button to know when I post. I make a variety of time lapses, makeup tutorials and product reviews. So if that's what you enjoy, this is the channel for you. I was thinking about going to Gibraltar many years ago and I thought that I'll need to visit this place at some point of my life and then uh, when I started face painting or doing body art I heard about um, the Gibraltar body painting festival so I thought this is the thing that I need to do and uh, previously a couple of years I've done Gibraltar body painting festival online after COVID obviously it wasn't possible any other way but this year I thought I'll go so here we go this is the first day of my trip in addition to regular body painting event I recorded huge amount of footage of me just going around Gibraltar so if you are interested only in body painting event I will put in the description the time so you can skip all of these uh, walking me around Gibraltar and just see the event or if you're interested on what you can see in there obviously you can watch the whole video which is going to be very long today just now we're flying around Gibraltar Gibraltar is uh, UK it's British territory which is placed at the south of uh, Spain actually it is a very small peninsula which is attached just on one side to Spain and it's only five kilometers long and just over one kilometer wide. Gibraltar is actually a city, just one city, which is divided in the middle by a hill, which is also called a rock of Gibraltar. There are only around 30,000 people living in there. And I would say it's really, really congested place if we speak about houses built in there. I was really desperate to go along and across the whole rock and I must say that I feel like my mission is complete. Although I travel a lot I see a lot of beautiful views and although it was a bit misty when we were landing still it was really nice to go around the whole Gibraltar rock and see it from all of the sides. When you know its shape it becomes quite recognizable for you because it's shown on all of the items that you can buy there. After seeing it I think I'll remember it for the whole of my life. As you can see on the map the airport is on the other side of Plains Runway so we need to cross it and actually you do it by foot which is quite unusual. So many people are just stopping there and taking photos of them being just on the road. And feels very weird because you kind of think that plane might land at any point but obviously there is a barrier which holds everybody people and cars from uh, going across when plane is due to arrive so here I am just past 10 in the morning entering the Gibraltar with all of my suitcases my check-in to the flat that I rented was at 3 p.m. so I had full five hours to wait Obviously I was desperate not to just waste my time and sit and wait. So with all of my bags I went to the square where Gibraltar Body Painting Festival was going to be and messaged Hamish, the festival's organizer. And luckily he was actually heading there to bring some stuff. So I had a chance to go inside to see how the space looks like and just to chat to Hamish about all of the details. Obviously to ask a little bit about Gibraltar itself. Straight after that, I went to my flat, finally to check in and to drop off all of my luggage. Actually, I rented a room which was much less expensive and a lady who was renting it was very, very nice. She provided lots of information about the places we can visit and it was like she was really friendly and I never regret it, although normally I do rent the whole flat. 
I don't know what's the experience of other people traveling to Gibraltar, but for me it felt like twice as expensive flat-wise and flight-wise. But yes, I was told by the lady who was renting me the room that living costs there are very very expensive well the gibraltar is very small and it's very very congested just now i'm walking around the city i dropped off my bags and i'm just walking what i can see and there are lots of stairs so you go up you cross you can cross the road or you can just go behind any buildings it's just it seems that there is a dead end you go to the top of the stairs and you turn and there's another set of stairs and that was quite funny so I spent a couple of hours walking up and down around Gibraltar like that not even knowing where I'm going and this is what I love to do when I'm traveling obviously I have my itinerary of things that I would like to visit but uh, because I was waiting for my model and she also wanted to go and visit Gibraltar I didn't go to any famous places that you know people would go and visit in Gibraltar so I just went around and just was looking at the city enjoying the flair of just natural it's not for tourists you know there's not people there and I think half of Gibraltar would look like you see just now this is old, not touristic part of the city, so obviously there are a lot of uh, much nicer parts of the city like harbor where you can have a cup of coffee, um, you have the main street with lots of shops, but I'm not a really shopping person, so I prefer uh, views, I prefer to go to local areas, well people for local people and see how it actually looks for them. So the blue dot is Casemate Square, where the body painting festival is going on. The next red or well, pink dot is where my flat is, well, around this area. And then oh, you see all the road that I was going up. It's probably not the uh, exact route that I went, but this is how my movements were looking like. I was constantly going up, going right and left, just looking around. And then I reached by mistake, by any circumstances I don't know this Moorish castle at which point natural reserve path started and uh, I would need to buy a ticket to enter there but because I wanted to visit it together with my model Kate I didn't go further but I found a very nice little monkey there she was really bored with me probably looking at her or him totally ignoring me turning away from me and I think at some point even felt asleep my behavior probably wasn't very polite either because I was so interested with this monkey. Obviously I've seen monkeys before but in zoos not a step away from me. On my way back I found a fig tree and Janet was really enjoying the plants in there, the flowers in there. Generally they are the ones that I would have in a pot on my window. Not that I have many plants at home but I do have the ones that I don't really need to water so that was exactly what I was seeing in there as well. Now I was going down and it was easier to look at all of the beautiful views. I didn't want to go the same way that I went up so I went obviously the different ways and sometimes I just went to places where I had to return. Uh, some places were like really definitely not for tourists and I'm quite glad that nothing happened to me because at the last day of our stay I saw the sign that be careful because of snakes if I would be here and saw the sign before I probably would be more careful with going to paths like that so farther away from city center I think there are quite a lot of this kind of wells and quite poor areas poor looking houses but they're all mixed with better ones as you see i look into the door and then straight away it goes to another set of flats doors and stairs and i was really enjoying the time exploring like that there were still a few hours left before kate was arriving so i decided to go to the harbor 
and see how it looks. There are a few harbors in there, but I went to the one closer to the airport, observing the fish. You cannot fish in the harbor, so there are like really a lot and lot of fish, and some of them really huge. You cannot see it from here, but I think they're like up to half a meter, even more. When I met Kate, there was another plane arriving in half an hour, so we wanted to wait and see how it's landing before actually going to Gibraltar. And it's actually a very nice view because it was a sunset and you see how sky is looking all yellow and orange. It was really beautiful. I was actually wondering how are they managing with this uh, people flow and car flow going across the runway all the time and the planes arriving but then there are really little amount of uh, airlines that actually land in here I think overall it is closed 15 to 20 times a day which is quite a few times and I believe we were waiting around 10-15 minutes which seems not too long but then if you're heading to your work it causes some distraction to a timetable. The following day on Friday, people who were taking part in the festival were gathering and painting together. We were considering to go and chat to people and maybe paint a little bit. But since Kate and me never been to Gibraltar before, and we had only Friday, Saturday and Sunday full days, of which one full day was painting. On Friday we decided to go and see Nature Reserve, then Saturday we would be painting and Sunday going through the lower areas. I already knew how to go to Moorish Castle and that seemed to be a good place to start with. This time we were following a bit bigger route, but then the more up we went, the smaller stairs were. This is 360 view of stairs up and down and on the side you could see however it's called the place where the water goes down during the raining season. I love walking so whenever I, I travel somewhere I'm always walking if I can because I can see more of local life. If you don't like walking there is a cable car which is plate somewhere around the middle of Gibraltar and you can go straight up to see uh, most of the visitor sites. Obviously going down is not that easy as it seems as well but since I like walking, watching all of these views, I really really enjoyed the walk. Here we reached the Moorish castle and we are just at the entrance and looking at the views. To enter here we already need to have a ticket. The day before, when I looked at it from far away, there were a few monkeys, but today there weren't any. And at the moment we are placed closer to the Spanish border, looking onto Bay of Gibraltar and then Spain behind it. Just now we're inside of Moorish Castle, which was medieval fortification, and supposedly it was uh, used as a prison of Gibraltar until 2010. I'm not really interested in any military objects or uh, whatever is connected with wars, so I didn't really spend much time in searching for history for this place. So here I mostly was enjoying views and going up more stairs. From this place it's really lovely view of the whole city. When you first time see a certain view, you're obviously starting to record it, but then I've seen the same views from the higher points, so probably there's going to be quite a few recordings of this view. The World War II tunnels were closed and next exhibition was a city under siege. I think the buildings here are dated back to 17th century and supposedly it was one of the first buildings that were built by British soldiers, by British people in Gibraltar.
Next we reached great siege tunnels with a beautiful view over the airport and also we could see the other side of peninsula. I think we spent there quite a lot of time. Firstly, there is a lovely view and you can just stay and watch and enjoy the warmth, the weather, the sounds of the city, the sounds of the nature. Then there was a plane starting, so we also watched how it goes. It is quite unusual to watch from such a height um, below and to see small planes and small people going because straight under us there was like very busy life. In the tunnels, generally, it's a huge long tunnel with lots of chambers and different rooms that are looking out first to the airport side and then at the end to the seaside. As I said before, I'm not really interested in war history, so I was rather looking at the views. I was enjoying the coolness of the tunnels after a long walk up. Obviously, we were a bit hot. As a face painter or a body painter, I should be used for different types of props. But I do not like these dummies. They do look a bit creepy. We left the tunnels and we went up the path. And there was a small path going even higher. Obviously, I had to check this out. And this is one of a few highest places that you could reach. But obviously, the wild one is always more interesting. As my husband says, if there is a sign that there is no access, Ulyanka has to try it out. It wasn't probably the safest place. And I do not advise you to go and try it out. But there was no wind, so I was feeling kind of safe in there. Now we reach the cable car station. This is one of the highest points of the hill and you can start your visit from here but obviously any way that you go is going down and then if you want to go to the opposite side of the hill there is still probably some changes in height and quite a long walk as well. Just now we are moving to Charles V wall and then moving to Skywalk. This is where we met monkeys for the first time and then we had a few more places where we saw them. We gave the monkey a little bit of apple so it was very busy and we could record it. I even managed to come closer and to feed a bit more apple. But then when I was trying to give it another piece, I think monkey thought that I'm actually taking it away and it bit me. Obviously it wasn't very pleasant and after that I was really careful with coming closer to the monkeys. Next we reached Skywalk which is a few balconies over a cliff and one of them is transparent so we can see the cliffs underneath. This is a beautiful and quite narrow place where you can see both ways and we spent there quite a lot of time, especially that there were lots of monkeys and we were just staying there and watching them.
Next, we reached O'Hara's battery and um, at some places there is no access. So actually we just reached this place and turned back. But also from here, for the first time we saw Africa. This is actually quite a strange feeling being in Great Britain, seeing Spain and Morocco in Africa. Our next place to visit was St. Michael's Cave, but before that we visited a little cafe that was just next to the entrance and I must say that the coffee was really really good in there. After all day walking in sun it was really pleasant to go inside and the caves itself they are beautiful, one of the best things to see in Gibraltar, well at least for me. I have a lot of footage from this place, so if you want to skip the caves that I have here for the next 5 minutes, you can go to the description of the video and skip to the next part.
St. Michael's Cave we were quite tired we walked all the way from the left to the right so starting at Moorish Castle then Great Teach Tunnels then Skywalk then Ohio's Battery and at the end St. Michael's Cave but after caves we were quite refreshed because of their coolness and next step was Windsor Bridge Last thing that we wanted to see today was Abe's Den. It was placed right next to Charles V wall. The same wall that we've seen before, just a bit lower. And we were hoping that there are going to be a lot of monkeys, but there was just one. At this point we decided that we've seen everything what we wanted to see so we headed down through the uh, small streets enjoying the flowers enjoying the flora of Gibraltar It was quite a busy day for all of us. Uh, some people were painting, uh, me and my model were walking around the Gibraltar. I'm glad that we managed actually to meet because of everybody's plans and tomorrow was supposed to be a busy day at the main competition, brush and sponge. But as you see, artists are never bored of painting. We have canvas, we have bodies to paint, and now we have tables to paint. Gregory brought in a rainbow one stroke and a few brushes, so obviously artists picked up the challenge. I should probably do that. So for the challenge, I have to paint the pile of oh, the long brush and with a rainbow. So here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, you got that. Oh, yes. Friday was a, such a good day with a very good ending very comfortable and warm atmosphere and now we are ready to start saturday day three and day of the competition normally at the day of the competition i don't really record much before or during the uh, painting just because i'm concentrated on what to do and how to paint but i had my setup ready quite early so i went around and recorded other artists their preparation for work This is midday of the competition. My model went away to eat something. So I used this time to record and see what other people created.
Okay, time is over. Everybody finished painting and models are gathering at the entrance between two holes. The room next to us is made into a stage for models to walk, but before walking they're all gathering together to make a picture. My model Kate is on the left with yellow wings and black horns and butterfly wings painted. We are nearly there, just taking photo of their bags and then the time for stage. After stage, models are going to have photos. We had a few photographers in different rooms and they were taking professional pictures. And then we went outside as well to take some pictures there. We were very pleased that we took the first place. This year, there wasn't an official ceremony because one of the artists didn't feel well and they had to call an ambulance. So organizers decided not to go for loud celebrations. Luckily, the artist who didn't feel well was released from the hospital very soon. How much? Now it's good, the eyes are so scary. Her eyes are like... That's amazing. Oh my god. That's it. But this here, your back, try and put
Right, day number four. This time we decided to visit the lower part of Gibraltar. So the beginning is the left side of the pink line and we went all the way around the Gibraltar to the end, turned around the peninsula and then back to the lighthouse. And then on our way back, we were going as close to the beach as we could. And then at the end, the orange line showing is our boat trip to Dolphin Watch. Our first photo shoot this day was Botanical Gardens. And actually, we didn't plan to go there. I didn't notice this destination before because I was more thinking about what's happening on the hill rather than in the city itself. And this garden is beautiful. We spent there about half an hour while walking uh, here and there, looking at the trees, looking at the flowers. Well, going to the other side of Gibraltar probably would miss it anyway because Gibraltar itself is very small. But I believe this garden can be uh, one of the points to see in Gibraltar specifically. Curious what's happening in the other seasons because just now it's end of April and it's flowering. Everything is in flowers. We left the garden and then after 15-20 minutes we found some ruins, so obviously we had to see them. And we found also quite interesting spots to look around, but later on there were quite a few good spots as well. We now reached nearly the very point of Peninsula. Just out of curiosity, we went round and could see the other side of Peninsula. So we went a little bit farther around the corner. I don't think many tourists come into this part of the Gibraltar. We saw a fisherman catching their fish, some ships before they're going into the harbor, and of course, lots of rocks. We are now standing and looking at Great Europa Point with Africa behind it. The Great Europa Point is the one of the visitor destination in Gibraltar and it's probably shown on all of the maps and there were lots and lots of people in there. And now we're going back, we're going back as close to the beach as we can and there are quite a few tunnels you had to pass through and in most of them there's just one way road. So if you have traveled by car, you probably would need to go the other direction.
We are now close to the harbor and ready to go and see dolphins. There is never a 100% guarantee that you will actually see the dolphins, but the crew normally does the best what they can uh, to find them. So first we went out into the bay between Gibraltar and Spain, hoping to find dolphins in there, but luckily they didn't find them there. And I say luckily because after they didn't find it there, they went out to Strait of Gibraltar, which was close to Africa, and we also had to swim around the whole Gibraltar, which we didn't find at all. The lady that is sitting up there, she is trying to look out for dolphins, trying to find them. Just now we're still in the Bay of Gibraltar, but we're heading there, where you can see the Africa. We were really hot while we were walking, but on the water you can actually feel a breeze and it was much cooler there. Nevertheless, we were burned by the sun. We forgot to apply the sun cream and we came back really, really, really red. While we were walking around the Gibraltar, it was actually a second day of the competition. This time it was airbrush, but many people came in just to paint without taking part in the competition. I was the first time in Gibraltar and really wanted to see it, but otherwise I'll probably stay and paint it as well. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Fifth day was my last day of stay. Most of the people also went back this day. Kate's plane was early in the morning, so we went together to the airport and then straight from there I went to the Spanish border. You can walk or drive through the border and it's really easy and fast. In five minutes I was on the other side. As long as you cross the border you have the line of these shops and straight away you can see the difference in price. First of all the prices are in euro not in UK pounds and numbers are lower as well. This is my favorite place in Spain honestly. I could live only on olives and I love the variety so I bought quite a lot in here and I took quite a few packages home as well. As opposed to see something more interesting, I would need to go much further. Just at the entrance, close to the border, and there are a block of flats and small streets. Uh, they look mostly the same, and now I'm heading away from the shopping streets. As I said before, I'm not really a shopping person, so I decided to spend the rest of the time on the beach. The sea was Baltic. I came to it, I touched it, and that was enough for me but sun was hot so I lay down there was nobody there so I enjoyed peace and quiet for an hour and then I went back uh, all my bags were ready everything was packed so it was just a matter of going to my flat and picking up the bags I'm walking perpendicular to Gibraltar at the Spanish side to cross the border back to Gibraltar. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and maybe useful for those who wanted to visit Gibraltar at some point. I would appreciate if you like the video, leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed to me yet, come on. If you watched this video to the end, that means that it was interesting. So press the pause, click subscribe and comment say Ulyanka I subscribe to you. This will help my channel grow and inspire for new videos. On this happy note I'm going to say goodbye to you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! If you are on Instagram pop in into one of my accounts and say hello. I do arts and crafts face painting, creative makeup and healthy food and travel. I hope to see you there!